Hey all, welcome on Trials and Code channel. Today we will compare two methods of a promise object. It's promise all and promise all settled. What's the difference and how we can use this difference? So, to understand the difference, first of all, let's create a couple of promises and uh, run these methods and uh, find out how does they work. So let's create the first promise. It will be promise P1, it's a new promise object and we have resolve and reject objects and um, just in one second we will resolve this promise. So let's create the second one, similar promise object. It will be P2, it's promise 2 and uh, it will reject in one second. And now let's create Promise, let's use promise all and promise all settle to call to these promises. So let's start from promise all. Promise all, we need pass two promises, it's array of promises, and then And if something happens, let's uh, get to catch. And let's do the same for promise all settled. The same array and uh, let's get data. And of course catch it. So, so let's let's format it a bit. and uh, catch if something is happening. So let's run, run it. Okay, what do we see here? First of all, then all settled was executed then all settled and uh, as a result we have object of two promises with, with the result of two promises it's a status it's fulfilled for for resolved promise and uh, rejected for rejected promise and we have value and uh, status so to get more information let's pass some data to resolve for example resolve 10 and uh, reject And let's run it again. And here we see that fulfilled what was resolved with value 10 and uh, value is 10. And for rejected we have we have reason my error because it was rejected and status rejected. And this one it's the result of promise all. So we have then we do we didn't get then result. But we got the catch with the catch error and with my error status. So what's the main difference? The main difference is that promise all it works. It will be resolved when all promises are resolved. But if one of them was rejected, the whole promise chain will be rejected, and we can handle this um, in the catch section. So if one of them was failed the whole will be failed. What's the disadvantage of this approach? So let's imagine that we have a search, search input and we need to get data. And uh, we get data from the main source and uh, we get additional data from additional sources. So in case uh, if uh, additional requests will be failed, anyway we can get main data. But with the promise all, all these requests will be failed and we do not show any data to user because one even not necessary, not mission critical promise was rejected. 
Solution of this problem is promise all settled. Promise all settled works always and it will return a result of all your promises, even one of them or even all of them were rejected. So here we will have status, was it result in our case fulfilled or it was it rejected and we will have value or reason, reason is error. So in case you need uh, the bad functionality when you need make a lot of parallel asynchronous calls, you can use promise all settled to get this data and if some, some of your requests will be rejected. Anyway, you can get data from other, all other requests. And uh, what is the small issue with all settled? That uh, all settled isn't implemented in all browsers. So in case we will take a look in can I use all settled, we can see that all settled method doesn't work in some browsers. It's Internet Explorer, of course, and some other. And we have global coverage, it's 77%. It's uh, okay, I guess we can use it. Anyway, we will use Babel or some polyfills and um, it will be covered. To recap, what's the main difference? So, as, uh, as we see that all will be failed in case one of promises is rejected, then the whole chain will be rejected and we will get error in catch section. All settled, all settled always will be fulfilled and we will get some result even if some promises are rejected we will get this data and we won't get catch state. So it was the main difference of these two methods. Thank you for watching. See you soon.